Zendesk Agent Copilot. Come here, come closer. So, Agent Copilot is an AI powered set of features from Zendesk, which is meant to empower your agents to be more productive. So, here is the list of features that this bad boy has. It's called Auto Assist, Suggest First Supplies, Suggest Macro Badges and Confidence Level, Enhanced Writing, Ticket Summaries, Quick Answers, Similar Tickets, Merging Suggestions. Uh, intelligent triage predictions and entity detection. So let's take these one by one. All right, now I'm in the shoes of a customer and uh, this is my page and this is a bot that I have on top of which this uh, auto assist works. So I've set it up here and I open it up as a customer. The bot greets me and uh, okay, it asks me, what do I want to do? I'm going to say, I want to talk to a human. My name is Dominic. Then my email is dom at roka.work. It's not actually this one. You'll know where to find me if you really want to it's in the description of this video all right so send and then it tells me you're going to be connected to a support agent i need help with opening up a credit card account so now what do i do so now i'm in zenas i put myself online and this popped up uh, to accept the chat request now i click it and it opens it up and here we go so uh, very quickly, for those of you who don't know Zenesk, left-hand side, this is all the custom fields and forms and brands and uh, tags, etc. Here is the conversation and uh, on the right-hand side, there's a bunch of uh, AIs and integrations with other platforms, among other things. So in here, I have uh, Auto Assist. This is the first feature and uh, this is what uh, it actually suggests for me. So I am sorry, but I can only assist you with order-related inquiries for help with uh, opening up a credit card account. Please contact your financial service department directly. Directly. All right, this seems like a good thing. I approve it. And what it does is it automatically sends this message to the customer, which is great. Okay, thanks. So now auto assist is there to assist me again. So it says uh, action change status to solve. Well, this is a pretty cool tool, so approve. So let's see if it actually does it. Does it really solve my ticket? All right, so it gives me the suggestion to change the status to solve. All right, Mr. AI. On the double, I'll execute your request and your demand. And uh, voila, now the ticket has been solved. So this has been the auto assist. I like this one. What I obviously don't like is the fact that I'm just a supervisor here uh, as an agent. I mean, how long before that this actually doesn't need me anymore? But hey, these are the times and we have to keep up with them. As long as we're here, let's look at some other features that come with uh, AI Copilot. So one of them, as you can see here, is the intent. So this tells me the intent of the customer. It's a transfer to an agent. This, depending on whatever I choose, is accurately showing an intent, which is great. I love this feature as well because it gives me as an agent more context. It also gives me as an admin the possibility to maybe create some business rules based on the intents, which is all right, so we knocked two. So uh, intents, we talk, we knock that out. The next one is ticket summary. So this LLM model is taking up all the information in the ticket and makes it a summary out of it. It's incredibly powerful and useful if you have uh, tickets that go back and forth for a really long time and a ticket is being transferred to somebody else and that person has to read you know everything that has been going back and forth well not anymore they can just click this button and uh they just create a summary as you've seen i just click it and then you know the customer dominic inquired about the status of uh, his order and needed assistance with ongoing uh, credit cards a form was submitted with his details because i did fill out a form which is great so i can um you know, this can go on back and forth and I can come back later and I can click refresh and then this goes through the whole conversation again and creates another summary for me. Again, very useful. It saves a lot of time for me. All right. So we looked at auto assist. We looked at uh, ticket summary. We looked at intelligent triage predictions. Now let's look at uh, this one, enhanced writing. And if it looks chaotic in how I'm going through these features, uh, it's because it is. Uh, just that it's much more handy if you are in the experience itself. Uh, so you'll, you'll know what I mean. Okay, for enhanced writing, I have to turn on the auto assist. So let me go here. So now I want to just formulate an answer and I will say, uh, in order to get a credit card, we'll have to ask you to go through a validation process. 
So now what I want to do is I'm going to select all of this and I will go to this pen here, Enhanced Writing. So I'm going to click it and I can go Expand, Make More Friendly or Make More Formal. I'm going to go to Expand a bit. In this case, it didn't necessarily expand the message, but it made it look a little bit better. Like if you ask me, so to obtain a credit card, we will need you to complete a validation process. So this sounds a lot more corporate, uh, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to make it a little bit more friendly. And there you go, to get a credit card, we love to, to complete a quick validation process. Well, this is very cute and very nice. So uh, let me just send this to the customer. Okay, so we knocked enhanced writing out of the park as well. Let's see what else do we have here. Suggested first replies. All right, let's attack this one. So I'm here on my website. You can assume it's your website and I have my widget installed and I'm a client now so I'm just pasting in a message so as you can see I'm going back and forth and this one is doesn't understand what I'm saying so could you please uh, clarify the nature of your question and it is does set, tell me it's generated by AI because this is, this is a generative AI feature so now talk to a human Dom2 Dom2 work all right, so you can see I have uh, ended up on the ticket here. So if I go here at the comment section, you see I have suggestion powered by generative AI. So if I go here, you know, I just uh, press tab and then it gives me a suggestion on what I should answer. And I did that. And uh, much like the auto assist, this is something which is meant to speed up my uh, speed of working. So it's meant to drain as much productivity of, from an agent as possible. And uh, yeah, pretty useful. By the way, if you enjoy the content, I'd be really grateful if you subscribe to this YouTube channel and you let me know what you think in the comments and i will get back to you i'd be really grateful and thank you so much okay so we looked at suggested first replies now we have suggested macro badges and confidence levels now this one suggested uh macro badges and confidence levels i do not have too many macros in this test account so i cannot show you this but that's a topic for another video let's look at merging suggestions so now if we go back to our zendesk merging suggestions is here on the right hand side um by the way i made a video about it uh, actually not uh, not that long ago and you can find it in the description and i'll show a screenshot of what the thumbnail looks like and so this you can see here um uh, merge suggestion so i can uh, take a ticket which is very similar to this one and uh, actions I can just merge these two babies together, confirm and merge, and it's that easy. So this again uses AI to merge two tickets together that are similar. And it makes no sense to have tickets lying in the system, which are duplicates of one another. And you have to manually do that. As you might remember, you either had to do this with a third party, which you had to pay a monthly subscription, or you could do it by hand, of course. And you found a ticket and then you, you had to look for the ID of that ticket and then you had to merge it into the, you know, another ticket. And it was kind of a time uh, drainer. Well, not anymore. So the next one would be similar tickets. And this one, what it looks like, is uh, something like this so you see it at the top in the search bar you see similar tickets for some reason i cannot get this one to work because it's in eap i have not managed to get this one to work yet so probably the topic of another video once uh, it is get it gets activated in my account because you have to apply to it they have to approve it and then you know you can do your thing so not there yet but also i don't see this one as a wow it's good i have the merging one which is great i like that better but this one eh, oh we'll see so entity detection so with this one the ai looks for keywords that you set up that you wanted to find for example product names and what this does is it recognizes it and then it populates it into a custom field in zenas which you can access in reports which is also very useful I have not gotten this one to work either because it's still in EAP, so early access. I have applied to it uh, exactly like the similar tickets, but it has not been approved yet. Not to worry, this is a work in progress. And the reason why I'm making videos about this is because stuff comes up all the time and technology evolves and Zendesk adds new features. So uh, I can create more content as well, which is great to give you more value. All right, so now the, you've seen the features, most of them. Let's uh, answer the question as, is this actually worth it? So let's go to the Zendesk pricing page and open this up and let's look directly for copilot so advanced ai add-on has agent copilot so what i've demoed for you earlier so what i've demoed for you earlier as one component of these which has multiple features and then it has ai powered workflows insights and suggestions generative ai and ai powered knowledge base these are all part of a bundle and they cost 50 bucks per agent per month built annually all right so it has a ai powered workflows which is something which i will talk in just a bit about insight and suggestions we've actually looked for this like merge suggestions and maybe macro 
macros. So that is uh, all fine and dandy. Generative AI tools, which are, you know, creating a conversation with your customer that you saw earlier in the demo. So we did see this too. It also, you know, it's the feature of expanding, making more friendly or making more formal. That we also looked at. And the one that I like a lot is this one, AI powered knowledge. So what you can do with this one is you can create a very short description with bullet points of, uh, you know, an article, which is meant to serve your customer to give them insights into how to solve requests themselves to you know encourage self-service then you can just apply the generative ai to make it a little bit more uh you know to tidy it up to make it nicer and uh, also that can save up some time for your agents so is this worth uh, 50 bucks per agent uh, per month build annually well you know me i'm a bit of a fanboy but uh, i've also kind of been trashing the earlier releases of this feature and i said no -uh, it's not there yet and uh, what do i think now i think that it's 60 uh, percent there and yes i am happy with it you know what would make me like a 75 80 percent say this is there and it's actually worth it if it had an advanced ai bot builder but dominic it already does it's called ultimate oh yeah you're right zen has bought this ai tool which is called ultimate ai i never found out how much they paid for it i'm still trying to find that out if you know let me know in the comments so actually we are certified in ultimate one of our guys is gabriel he's wonderful and i love him so if i go to channels here and then i go to ai agents then i have here ai agents ultimate so this one uh, you can find out more so we have this enable and we've created a, a bunch of workflows with it and uh, it's it's actually a really powerful tool what this does is you can create advanced uh, if then conditions in your bot uh, you can connect to a backend you can also make generative ai content to converse with your customers a ai still hallucinate a little bit but you can constrain it to just talk about your knowledge base if it's well defined and curated and updated and it's actually worth it with this one you can introduce advanced features like a map directly in a widget like a calendar to book a meeting from it like the ability to purchase directly within the bot this generative ai conversation based on the knowledge base with the customer advanced if then conditions you know if it doesn't understand what it is so the only caveat to this one is if you set it up really nicely and it actually takes care of requests by itself and no agent interference is uh, necessary then there is an additional cost per resolution and it's called automatic resolution and you have to pay about one buck fifty for this resolution and uh, welcome to the world of AI greediness and uh, yeah it is what it is these are the pricing structures everybody's moving towards this is it worth it yes I would say 75% it is worth it and there are there better tools out there I have not seen them because you know AI is it good is as good as whatever you access on uh, on these all these tools like from OpenAI from Claude from Grok from you know all of the other ones that are there the million ones that are there so yeah I guess this has been the update from my side thank you for watching please subscribe if you enjoy the content if you decide to go for an upgrade and you decide this is a good idea and this video helps you you know we are as this reseller and um, it doesn't cost you anything extra if you tell us that you want the upgrade we will test on this and we will get a very um, you know small change percentage of uh, actually helping you uh, it's not going to cost you anything extra it's actually uh, the same uh, but you know it's just you know Zendus doesn't take all of it maybe eh, mm, eh, I don't know. I'm embarrassed to even say this but anyway there are contact details in the description of this video and I will see you in the next one thank you so much bye